Thank you very much. Thank you for coming. You look wonderful. You're wonderful, lovely Bavarians. Thank you for coming to this uh, super spreader event. The, uh, if, no, 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 no. No, it isn't. This is just a bog standard spreader event. This is, uh, I'm, I'm reliably informed. But uh, Emma Radicanu, the, uh, how about that, hey? Did you all watch the match, Emma? Yes. Do you know, it got me thinking actually that uh, about, uh, she's 18, isn't she? It got me thinking about my achievements uh, and everything that I did by the time I was 18. And I, I can vividly remember that my biggest achievement when I turned 18 was that I learned how to use the oven. Uh, and I absolutely remember that because I was able to eat uh, not long afterwards. So that was fantastic. So that was my biggest achievement. Um, anyway, she's won the US Open, so, uh, you know, it's uh, similar, uh, relative. But, um, so, and I've got no link to the next thing I want to talk to you about, uh, which is Glastonbury. Uh, so no link. Um, well, I'll just talk about Glastonbury. But who, who has been, not to the festival, but just a quick shot of hands, who's been to the town of Glastonbury? Yes, yes. Well, I, I did a, a little tour of Somerset uh, a few weeks ago, and I stayed in the town. Uh, we stayed in the town for a couple of uh, nights, and I, I mean, I don't know, it's, uh, it's just bonkers, isn't it? I mean, it makes Hastings on Pirate Day look completely normal. Um, and, and I can tell you, if you want to, if you happen to want to buy a crystal, then obviously go to Glastonbury and fill your boots. If you're looking for soap, not a chance. Judging by the uh, faces and the state of the people that I saw, they're not a chance getting so. But, I, and just very quickly, before I uh, go into what we're, what we're really here for tonight, which is our fabulous speakers, uh, I, when I was there, I took the opportunity of, because uh, on, on, uh, on the high street, there was a gaggle of, uh, I, I don't know, they would be described as gurus or, or something. Um, but, uh, and they were, you know, selling their uh, unique wares, uh, and, and one of them, was offering to read your auras and cards. Yeah, I didn't even know I had an aura, um, but it's blue. I don't know if you can see that. Anybody? Yeah, yeah. Definitely blue, thank you. And uh, he told me it was blue. Um, but no, he, he said uh, that he would also read uh, cards and palms. Uh, and I was particularly drawn to this individual because he had a sign in front of him uh, that claimed that he was the reincarnated embodiment of Buddha, Jesus and Krishna. And so I figured, you know, that is getting my money's worth, really. And, uh, and if I'm going to have anybody tell me my future and what I'm likely to achieve, I'm going to, I'm going to speak to this guy. So anyway, he, uh, I did it, sort of, he read my aura and uh, told me it was blue. Um, but I was more interested about, you know, the future, what I might achieve. Uh, so I sat down, and the one thing actually about him is that uh, not only does Glastonbury lack soap, it also lacks toothpaste. Uh, because he had literally no teeth. Uh, and, uh, and, and there was just, as I sat in front of him, there was just a sort of haze of marijuana smoke, which made it difficult to even see the cards, uh, let alone read them. But he, he reliably informed me uh, that in terms of telling me what I'm likely to achieve and what I can look forward to, uh, that I reached the pinnacle of my achievements when I turned 18. So, uh, so there we go, that was wonderful. That's my, uh, that's my Glastonbury experience. Um, but now, I've, I've got a few things, because last night we, we, we had a break in August, but there was a show in July, and, uh, and I, I was a bit rusty uh, from, uh, from having had the lockdown break. So I just need to check a couple of things, and then we're all gonna be perfect. And I've had some captions already, so maybe let's do that. Do you wanna hear some captions? Some of them are fantastic, do you wanna hear? Yeah, yeah, let's, get, let's kick off with some captions, here we go. Um, so I think you're wonderful, having captions at the start. So this, this in from Ruth. No, it's true, your father is Boris Johnson. <laughs> so thank you for that, Ruth, that's uh, genius, I like that. Uh, and here's one from Derek, from London, so a DFL. Uh, Derek, oh dear, I, I think you've misunderstood, there is no severance payment when you're sacked in a cabinet reshuffle. So uh, thank you, Derek, excellent. Um, and then this is, this is anonymous, but we've got round and round the garden like a teddy bear, so uh, that's it. <laughs> thank you, that's excellent. And um, this, in, this in from Gary, actually Gary's done two, so I'm gonna hold one of yours back, Gary, for the next interval. Uh, you can all have a go at this, by the way, it's completely free uh, and COVID secure. Um, so, I see a man in a mask. Thanks, Gary, excellent, right. So that is, uh, that's the captions, and that will just run through, run, run through the night. Um, but what I want to check 
with my next slide, because those of you that, uh, that came to the show uh, before the lockdown might remember uh, Ted the Drummer. Uh, and in fact, he was also on the, uh, the online show on my station, Station Hastings. Ted can't be here at the moment, but he sends in uh, some, uh, some footage of him doing drum rolls, uh, which I then set up before each speaker. Last, or a couple months ago, I couldn't get the sound to work. So fingers crossed, we are going to see and hear. Thank you, Ted, virtually. So uh, hopefully, I've got, Ted's done three fabulous drum rolls linked and themed to each of the fabulous Babards tonight. So hopefully, we will, uh, they'll, they'll all work. So, right, um, and what I also need to do is, uh, again, um, I sort of glossed over this last time and forgot that, of course, like me, you've probably all forgotten what on earth happens at the Baba Bar. And uh, but one of the things that I, I, I encourage and I like to do if it's possible is I, I, um, I have uh, made up a number of games. They're just basically parlor games that I've sort of recycled and rebranded. Um, and, uh, and if you wanted to have a go at those games, you would be more than welcome. And if you came up and did it, the lovely audience here would cheer and whoop, and, and you'd be a, 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 would be amazing. Um, so I'll just tell you very quickly about each of the games, and there is no pressure to do any of them, but we're not leaving until at least one is done. <laughs> um, so the first one is uh, this thing that I call KP, KP Light, uh, partly because I plagiarized it off Petra Kucha and they emailed me, so I switched the initials, uh, and I think I got away with it. Um, but the KP Light, this is sort of, um, so I put up an image, totally rounded of an image, uh, and there's six of them, okay? Uh, this is the clue, this might be in, in one of the sets. Um, and uh, they'll stay on the screen for 15 seconds each. Uh, and so you, you talk about a donkey for 15 seconds, or Boris Johnson, obviously. Um, and, uh, and then it, it moves on after 15 seconds, and you get another image, all completely random. It's hilarious, and whoever does it will be amazing. Uh, so that's that game, come on, let me know if you want to do it. Uh, and we've had some amazing ones over the years we've been doing the blah blah blah. So uh, some of them have been hilarious. Some of them haven't, uh, but we don't talk about those. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, just very quickly, uh, obviously there's Bohemia Road, uh, and uh, I don't know the rules to that game, and no one's ever played it. So if you want to have a go at that, fabulous, let me know. Uh, and then we've got the Udra Kapivi. Um, which is a, a real thing. The Ujika Pivi was an expression that was used in the old town of Hastings. So the equivalent of Ujima Flip, thingy me Bob, uh, or whatever. And that was the term that was used in Hastings Old Town. And someone wrote a book about it, uh, and I used the expression to sort of, uh, I suppose, identify uh, this, uh, this other game, um, which again is a sort of parlor game. A bit like sort of, I guess, would I lie to you? Premise is, you come and see me and you say you've got a wonderful, weird fact about yourself, and I write it down on a bit of paper. I have written down a number of uh, weird facts. I mean, I can hear, I was once mistaken for Jude Law. That was true, and, and that happened, someone did it, and it was brilliant. I don't mind my underwear. That was another one. Um, and uh, I once electrocuted a chinchilla. Um, so there's a, there's a whole number of sort of odd, um, but uh, sort of false facts or true facts. And, and you select one, and the audience then asks you questions, and you have to bluff the audience. So if it's your true fact, you have to make them think it's false. If it's your false fact, you have to make them believe you. And the only rule is, uh, if it's your true fact that you picked, you can't lie. So, and again, that has been wonderful. We've had some brilliant one of those, what, what ones of those. Um, gosh, we had someone who, who posed uh, naked for a calendar of accountants. And, and I remember, he, 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 and it was true. Uh, and, and no one believed me, he fooled most of the audience. Uh, and he had a picture of himself that he then revealed uh, at the end, and it was uh, fabulous. So we've had amazing, we've had amazing Uja Kapivis, so that's uh, a great one. Um, and then this new game uh, that I invented, I say invented, I use that term very loosely, um, uh, in, in the lockdown, and someone did that a couple months ago. They were hugely brave, um, and, uh, and remarkably, the audience guessed the song, because the premise of this game, Make It Stop, is it's kind of like a dancing charades. Um, so they, uh, they play a song that's uh, sort of Wi-Fi or Bluetooth to their ears, so the audience, you can't hear it. And they dance, and from their wonderful dance moves, we guess 
the song. So it was a dancing game of charades. And I didn't expect anybody to do it because you have to be incredibly brave to do that. But she did it, she was wonderful. Um, and, and I don't know how, but you guessed it, and it was Sweet Caroline, I think. Um, so, so anyway, they are, they are my wonderful games, and you would be more than welcome to play them if you wished.